This is your spoiler alert. The boys are about ready to ruin a movie for you or a TV show. I swear to God, guys, I have not seen Game of Thrones. If you ruin this for me, I quit. We know now. Wait, wait, wait. We... All we have to do is ruin Game of Thrones and she quits? Mm-hmm. Huh. Oh, I don't want to ruin it for anybody else. I would ruin no. it for Rosie, though. I have to admit, though, I did you watch it. all of Game of Thrones, by the way? Speaking nope, of... I haven't seen one episode. Nope. Okay, well, then I won't ruin it for you. I'll just tell you, I think the last episode or the last two episodes made me go from, oh, yeah. my gosh, one of my favorite shows ever to, why did you just do that? Just mm. ruined it. It's it's a lot like Lost for me. Uh, like Lost. Well, actually, did that to me. Okay, let yeah. me let me rephrase. It was the last couple of episodes on um, Game of Thrones, but with Lost, I was halfway through. I was I was just pissed. Like I was just constantly angry at Lost. I get so. it. Yeah. Have Dexter you seen Loki? To me. Have you seen Loki? By the way, speaking of stuff we shouldn't spoil I, 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 for I, people. Yes. No, but I don't. I don't care. Let's spoil Loki. Like, hey, here's your Loki spoilers right here. <laughs> Um, I, <laughs> I've seen both episodes so far. Me too. And I've seen the first one I twice and it. I was going to watch the second one twice as well. I just haven't gotten around to yeah. doing it. So far, I don't love it as much as WandaVision and, really? and Winter mm -hmm. Soldier. And See, Winter I Soldier, was, yeah. I, I like it a little bit more and I'll tell you why. First, I jumped on the train at the beginning. Like I didn't jump on Winter mm -hmm. Soldier until probably the second episode and WandaVision. I was way late. In fact, okay, so WandaVision's even funnier for me. I started late on WandaVision, but it wasn't uh -huh. the se the series wasn't over, unbeknownst to me. So like I start like everybody else is on show five or six, somewhere around yeah. there, maybe seven. I jump uh -huh. in and I watch one to six. And I'm like, woohoo, mm -hmm. this was a great show. And I thought it was over. And then my sister texts me and goes, <laughs> Oh my gosh, blah 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 blah, WandaVision, blah blah blah. And I look at it and go, that didn't happen in WandaVision. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, I did. Just to find yeah. out, I had missed the last like two or three episodes, mm -hmm. so I had to go back and watch it. But no, I admit, WandaVision's pretty darn amazing, especially, um, I don't know if you did this or not, but uh, I watched the worst of all the Avenger movies. I guess it's Infinity War, where everybody dies. Spoiler alert, oh, everybody yes. dies. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. If you watch that, and then you watch WandaVision, it's actually really even more enjoyable because you're oh, like cool. you're like you're like oh man this is just so horrible and death and death and right. death and then wandavision everybody's back in life it's amazing yeah so and that doesn't for... that doesn't mean that i don't like loki i like right. loki i think no, it's no, really no, good. but it's i know awesome. i get what you're talking about like <laughs> loki yeah. well first of all these people are like the ultimate teacher when it comes to loki because so the way i have always thought of loki is that kid in the back of the room like figuring out where to shoot spitballs and then right. he gets a teacher that's like, he knows he's going to spit spitballs. And he just sort of, he's like, he's writing on the board, Loki, don't spit that spitball. Right when, oh, what? Yeah. He just knew. And yeah. that's the way that these uh, uh, officers, I guess, time yeah. officers. Besides which, they're Doctor Who people. Like, they should be even cooler they than they totally are. They totally are. They are so <sighs> Doctor Who people. So weird. So here's the news that we're actually talking about now that I've yeah. Look at this. Enough. This this goes full circle because we talked about uh, Toxic Avengers we and did. Elijah Woods. We did. <laughs> we did all at all at one time. Well, I'm a huge fan of 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 Elijah Wood. He has done some of my yes. favorite parts of all times. He was in um, Sin City. For anybody that hasn't seen Sin City, uh -huh. you may or may not recognize him because he is a dark character in that, like super dark. Um, but he oh. does an amazing job. And of course, he's he's he's, he's played. Um, I forget what the serial killer name is, but he he's had a movie where he played a serial killer, and it was fantastic. And, like and he was also of, obviously for everybody yeah. that doesn't know who he is, he was in Lord of the Rings, like all of, <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, that was his major role. I mean, like he had major yeah, roles yeah. before that, but that was the role where everybody's like, "Oh, well, right. there you go." So, and we're talking about like minor independent films, and like Sin City yes. wasn't a minor independent film, but I remember well, when Sin City came out, they were like, "This movie's going to tank," and it didn't. Everybody yes. got freaked out. So, yeah. So he actually got cast as a bad guy in the toxic avengers reboot oh, which is going to be awesome it is <laughs> yeah that is. that is totally awesome i can't wait and there you go lord of the rings now he's playing a villain uh -huh. 
super awesome. Yeah. Oh, Dinklage is in it. Speaking of uh, that movie show that we were just talking about, uh, Peter Dinklage was the uh, the left hand of uh, the Queen in uh, Game of Thrones. So Peter Dinklage oh. was in uh, Game of Thrones okay, and he had cool. a major role with uh, the Queen of Dragons. I always forget. Oh, and Kevin Bacon. So there you go. Uh, all of these names have officially become part of the Six Degrees of Me, as Kevin Bacon said. In- did you see that commercial, <laughs> yes. by the way? I did. Commercial is yes. classic. <laughs> I don't even know what it was for, I'm but Kevin, it came on my television. I'm he goes, Kevin Bacon. You, yeah, Kevin Bacon's floating in a pool, and he goes, you may know me from Six Degrees of Me. Me. <laughs> I was like, classic. Whoever wrote yes. that was a genius. Yes. <laughs> oh, and I'm not a huge uh, fan of his band, by the way. Uh, no, just but the, uh, his his insane. work though, like his whenever, amazing. yeah, and he he's one of the only actors that constantly like if he's out of the limelight, he'll do a scary movie and he'll yes. get right back in it. Yeah, he'll be and, right back in the thick of it, and I agree, man. Right. He'll be like he'll be teeter, he'll be like independent, independent, like and just his his career's like, right. and then all of a sudden he'll do. Did he do The Conjuring or he did something like that? What was that movie he was in? Came out um, around the same time of The Conjuring. I know he did He did one called The Darkness. He's done That's like Stars of Echoes. That's what it was. And it was yeah, Darkness. He, oh, yeah. And it's like, we've forgotten about Kevin. Oh, Kevin Bacon, he's back. <laughs> yep, he's back. All we, all we need to do is is put him as a dad trying to save a family, and, and he's yep. fantastic. And we're good. We're good. And that, you know, that's half his, his, his like roles. Dad right. trying to save family. Right. Kevin Bacon. Well, after Footloose. Who? Like, Footloose was <laughs> yeah. the beginning of his career, and then after that, he became a dad. It was, like, beginning yeah. of career, and then now he's a dad. Thank you for watching this segment of the TP Show. Please like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you know when we post. We are also on Spotify so you can listen to us on the road. Until next time this has been another episode of the TP Show.